with uh, Gary Koch. Uh, you know him from his uh, work with uh, NBC, but uh, Gary, now you're playing, and you told me once that uh, you thought it was good to play. It, it helped your broadcast. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, you know, I think it helps to remind you just how difficult playing this game is. Um, I know when you, you know, obviously when you sit in a tower and you watch, uh, you know, when you're announcing, um, you know, it's easy to say, hey, that guy shouldn't miss that putt, or, you know, golly, I can't believe he hit in the water over there to the left. I mean, he hit it eight miles to the right. Well, you know, when I get out and play again, um, you know, I miss some of those putts, and uh, I know the water's on the left, and I'm not <laughs> trying to hit it over there, but it goes over there anyway. So um, I think it gives you a little more perspective uh, when you're talking about it. And for a guy who's had a lot of success playing the game, does this whet the competitive appetite somewhat getting back out of here? Um, you know, I still enjoy competing, uh, no question about it. I think once once you've done that, that's kind of in your blood, and it's really hard to get it out of there. Um, but I also have to be very realistic. Uh, this is only the second tournament I've played all year on the PGA Tour Champions. Um, you know, we've been working a fairly heavy schedule. I've had a chance to play at home some, practice a little bit. But, you know, reality is I'm going to have a hard time competing at the level of which guys, the top players on this tour are going to compete at, the guys that are playing week in and week out. So, um, enjoyment, yes. Uh, gives me a reason to practice, yes. Uh, but realistically, uh, you know, I'm here to see guys, you know, renew some old relationships that, uh, you know, I've had for years and years. A lot of these guys I played college golf and junior golf with and certainly played many years in the PGA Tour. So it's a great opportunity. Uh, you're going back in the broadcast booth for the Open Championship. Zach Johnson won last year. Uh, I'll have to turn that clear jug back in unless he wins it again. But uh, you, I heard you comment about him. He was having a tough day in the, in the Players' Championship the third round. Of course, everybody did. Sure. But you said, you know, he, what a tough and gritty guy he is. He's kind of a workmanlike player. Um, I admire Zach Johnson so much uh, to accomplish what he has been able to do uh, in the game of golf, especially at the PJ Tour level in this day and age where uh, his style of play really, uh, you know, the, the accuracy off the tee, the great wedge play, the great putting, um, is just not in favor anymore. I mean, it's more, it's turned into a power game. I mean, you look at the money list now, and the guys who are up on the top of the money list are the guys that can drive the ball 300 yards plus. Uh, Zach can't do that. Uh, but Zach competes uh, by using his mind very, very well. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've never, I've, seen him have tough days and, and not play well, but I've never seen him not give every single shot 100% effort. And I admire that about Zach. Uh, you know, he knows his game, he plays his game, and he makes his game work on golf courses that a lot of times really aren't necessarily set up for his style of play. Well, Gary, it's great to have you back in Des Moines, and uh, wish you the best of luck. Hope you have a great week. All right, well, thank you. It's uh, great to be back here. A lot of great people, uh, and I know a lot of tremendous support for the tournament from the community, and uh, just great to be a part of it.